Protecting your portfolio against a market downturn is a key step in retaining unrealized gain at the start of a bear market. And proper diversification, specifically modeled after the core satellite investment strategy, is the best way to reduce large price swings, allowing investors to beat out broader market returns. In my opinion, a core satellite portfolio not only showcases vast diversification, but is also a safe investment strategy without putting a cap on possible upside. A core satellite investment portfolio consists of two main parts. You guessed it, the core of the portfolio and the satellite positions. For the core positions of this investment strategy, there is no exact weighting and it is dependent on the investor's plan and risk tolerances. However, I recommend the core of your core satellite portfolio hold 65% of your invested capital. Remember to stick around for the end of the video where we will quickly break down five different exchange traded funds or ETFs which may be beneficial to add to your core satellite portfolio. The core positions weighted at 65% are then further broken down into the broad market funds, income stocks, foreign stocks, and emerging market funds weighted at 35, 15, 10, and 5% respectively. The remaining 35% of the core satellite portfolio should be made up of much smaller satellite positions weighted between 2 to 3% each. These satellite stocks can consist of any security you would like to hold, but keep in mind of two things. One, the satellite stock should be properly diversified by sector between themselves. If they are all technology companies, this defeats the purpose of the core satellite strategy. And number two, the core satellite positions should also be well diversified between each other. If your broad market funds track the S&P 500 and all of your satellite positions also belong in the S&P 500 index, then your portfolio is not properly weighted and this could cause some problems for your returns in the future. If you need some help calculating the proper weighting of an investment portfolio and its positions alike, Check out my video, Building a Dividend Portfolio, linked down in the description. No matter whatever weighting or securities you as an investor figure to be most efficient for your investment strategy, keep in mind the core satellite approach places importance on, stock, on a stock share price, portfolio volatility represented by the beta metric, and the return on investment of the core satellite investment portfolio. Before we get into some examples of good exchange traded funds and stocks of the core satellite portfolio, please look down below the video and hit the subscribe button. Send a like my way too so we can get this video out there because it's definitely a vast improvement on my first one. The first two exchange traded funds we are looking at today fall under the broad market index category of the 65% weighted core position. The first broad market fund is Vanguard's S&P 500 ETF, stock ticker VU, VOO. This exchange traded fund has an incredibly low expense ratio of just 0.03% and attempts to closely track the returns of the S&P 500 offering both fair growth potential and safety from drastic price movements. Another slightly cheaper broad market fund is the Schwab US Broad Market ETF, stock ticker SCHB. This exchange traded fund tracks the Dow Jones US broad market index giving investors far more diversification as SCHB holds 2,575 positions against VU's 507. Similarly, however, Schwab also showcases a 0.03% expense ratio. An interesting and slightly more risky exchange traded fund you may consider holding for the income stocks portion of your core investments is the Amplify High Income ETF, stock ticker YYY. This fund contains 30 different closed-ended funds, or CEFs, and pays monthly distribution of 8.98%. It is important to note here, although this yield may sound mouthwatering, it is coupled with a 2.45% expense ratio, which leaves you with a monthly yield of around 6.5. Stock ticker VXUS is another Vanguard ETF. However, this fund focuses on the total international stock market and will be a good hold as a core investment as its inability to invest in US companies offers extremely high diversification alongside your other funds. This is because correlation with the before mentioned funds is almost non-existent. And additionally, VXUS does a good job holding onto their invested capital with an expense ratio of just 0.08%. The last fund I recommend you look into as a potential core position is the Spider Portfolio Emerging Markets ETF, stock ticker SPEM. 
This fund has an expense ratio of 0.11% and focuses on investing in companies with business operations in less developed countries. Although this will most likely be the riskiest fund in your core holdings, it is also weighted at the lowest percent. Now that you have some examples of good core positions to hold for this investment strategy and in your portfolio in general, you can start diving deeper and practicing some due diligence on individual stocks to hold as your satellite positions. If you need help getting started, check out my stock analysis playlist where we discuss the fundamentals and business operations of a multitude of both dividend and growth companies. Let me know in the comments below what are some core and satellite positions you are planning to research or already hold in your portfolio. And if you have been practicing or are planning to subscribe to the core satellite investing approach, Remember to subscribe to this channel for more investing strategies and stock analysis videos. As always, I'm Patrick Zimmerman. Thank you for your time and have a nice day.